It's November 1995 now, and the weather really is getting rough out there. It's very, very cold. The next sequence you're going to see is my pigeon weekend away with Eric and Pat Cannon. He's a bit aggressive, that dog, isn't he? <laughs> no, it's not. She, she, she is a absolute poodle, she is. <laughs> I bet she bites them Alsatians. <laughs> oh, she does. She jumps up in the air. This is our first loft visit. This is Vince Darren, I got him in, and Vince has won the SMT Combine twice. Uh, this is my Combine winner, Eric. Uh, they only clock up all of the weather lofts. What do you think, Vince? Good looking eye, not that I know much about eyesight, <laughs> but I know, yeah, I, I like it. He bred you have a combine winner, Vince, didn't he? He did, yeah. Yeah, he bred me the, the combine winner from the following year from Wren, so... Uh, He's a bit yeah, special, the really. The ones aren't they? Yes, sir. The uh, ones which do it and, you know, breed well themselves. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, he's done me a few favours. Yeah. I'd say he's a showy looking pigeon too, isn't he? This nice. is our second loft visit. And this is Eric Pearson of Farncombe. We won the SNK T Combine from Wadybridge. So what have we got to do then? Here's, here's a couple of old muckers to go. Have a good Combine winner. <laughs> Is that your Combine winner, Eric? Yeah, that's a Combine winner. Which you went from? Wadybridge? Yeah, that's right, yeah. What, how many birds? 6,100. Yeah, it's good, good performance, mate. Yeah. What do you think of her then, Eric? Well, I think she's nice. And, uh, I know once before Eric said about her, I, I don't think you'd like her. I think, well, I, I, I know nothing about her eyesight, no, but I think no. she's got a damn nice eye. Yeah. Quite a nice pigeon all yeah. round, you know. Yeah. And I don't think you've seen the last of her yet, you no, know. She'll, no. uh, she'll still do well. Yeah, she flew yeah. Nance this year. Yeah. Yeah. Eric was saying that she actually, he thought that she might have won the Fed from the first race as well that year, but bad trapping. Yeah. 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 So that's one of the things, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know. So he, he was your loft major, Eric, was he? Well, as I say, we lived together and we just did pigeons among ourselves. You when know, he went in the it. army, I, was, yeah. I looked after him for him. Did you? Yeah. That's probably why he does so well now then, Eric. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> right? yeah. I found out yeah. all the tips, you see. Yeah, I was only 16 then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we used to have some fun there, you know, yeah. in those days. Yeah. There's quite a group of us, you know, we used to That's right. muck about together. And well, to be honest, we, pigeons we were, were fun in them days, weren't it? We were allowed to handle, what, na not national winners, but second open national yeah. winners from Bozier and Fred Seaman and that. Yeah, Rainsford. Yeah. And Les Rainsford. He was second San Sebastian to Sir mm. William Jury. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, in them days, pigeon was fun, Eric. Yeah, yeah. The, it was a hobby then. Yeah, it's more commercialised and it's a bit more cutthroat yeah, these days, right. isn't it? And none of those people had the amount of pigeons well, Eric doesn't keep many, I know, but most of them only had a few. We thought Bozier had a lot of pigeons, but he only had about 30 odd, you know, because yeah. where we only kept about 10 or a dozen, yeah. you know. We're back at Eric's loft now. He's giving the birds their evening feed. Well, you tell him, mate. <coughs> tell him off. <coughs> that's the old blue cop then, Eric. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, call my lad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as I say, he's been ten times to pull. He was eight times in the result. And also, he was twice in the Nance National Result. And also, 14th Combine Bergerac mm. after breaking his leg at Nance, which I suppose isn't too bad for an old codger, is it? He's incredible. How old is he now, Eric? Uh, he's 17 now, but yeah. he, his last pool race, he was in the list at 12 years old, so, you know, 
Oh, so to be proud of that picture. Yeah, and his mother was a certificate of merit winner from Paul. Five times she was uh, 26 open, 27th open, 48th open, 135th open, 140th open from Paul. And also she was 21st or 22nd, I can't remember now, combine uh, Bergerie. And uh, by and large, most of these old blues have proved themselves on the road. Yeah. The Young Bird National goes back to them, Young Bird National winner. And, uh, well, quite a few others. He certainly looks well for an old now, doesn't he? Yeah, I suppose 17 years old. He, he's old and he's weight well. He's never been a big pigeon, but uh, he's never shown his fly, you know. No. I suppose, you know, a pigeon's either a good or he's a bad one, you know. Yeah. And he's been a good one all his life. That's to say, physically, he's got to be about right for, you know, all well, the time. Well, how big have they got to be? If you see a marathon uh, race, I mean, you don't get big burly people, do you, really? Yeah. It's mainly pigeons which are a nice average sized pigeons you know but they've got to have the will to win and the main thing is i think there's plenty of pigeons with the ability but they've got to want to get home through various things that the owner might do you know he, he's i think they like the loft they like the owner yeah, how's that ah. what about that then? so what about a pigeon there it was it no ah. hey? ah. have you learnt anything today <laughs> oh yeah how to be Frozen, I think. <laughs> it was cold, wasn't it? It was cold. Oh, it was a lovely day. Yeah. Did you go to any shops on top of it? You know, been a, a bunch yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, that's, uh, that's high up there, isn't it? It's, it's a nice high. location for location, pigeons, but, but it could cause problems with wife and nippers where he lives, wouldn't you think? Yeah, so? I'll tell you what, it must be hard work keep kiting pigeons and calling mm. out that hill. Mm. Yeah, altitude loft, as you want to call it. That's a good <laughs> Attitude loft, yes. Yeah, I think he thought that was quite good. Yeah, it kind of well. It worked kind of well, didn't mm. it? Yes. Uh, Vinny's a good talker. Yes, good he talker, is. Yes, he is. Yes. Well, he's in business, you see, and I think he's dealing with people all the time, and yeah. uh, he would be like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I hope you like the leaks and the roof. I'll tell, I'll tell you what, you won't get fat on that. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get 10 points start because I've got a broken arm? Uh, well, yes, providing we get an age allowance. Now, that's a perfect shot, kid. A bit fluky, wasn't it? Fluky? What's that snook with me? Eh? <laughs> well, that was... I went for it. I don't know if you know much about this game, do you? Oh, <laughs> look. <laughs> It helps to have a broken arm, that's all I know. Oh, look at that for a perfect break. It's Sunday morning now, and Eric's taken me down to the south coast to visit the top long distance loft of Des Coulter of Worthing. Oh, this is my San Sebastian mirror. What do you think of her? Well, I can say with that, you know, <laughs> straight away, I think <laughs> she's a damn nice pigeon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think they're getting really yeah, hard. Yeah, it's very, very pleasing that was. And uh, as I say, they're doing well against all the cream. Well, all the cream, the continental cream, that's right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's a, it's a perfect. Yeah. How far did you find Des out of San Sebastian? 520 approximately. Yeah. And look at the sire. What's yeah, the yeah, the, 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 yeah, the yeah. British blast on the wind. Can't be bad when he's coming out. That's incredible, mate. Yeah, breeze What a beautiful pigeon. That's right, yeah. My favourite colours, grizzle. I love grizzles, Des. Oh, I know you do, Keith. I remember that. That's right, yeah. yes. Grizzle, man. That's right. Great end, mate. Come to the fourth loft visit of the weekend. And this is Eric's good friend, Jed Jackson of Worthing. Jed's a blind fancier and won the Poe National a few years ago, which is a fantastic performance with his champion, Janista. This is champion Jester, Jed's Po National winner. Magnificent performance. Jed, what do you think of Woodward for long distance racing? No, he's a bit of a 
it's not for me. That is, I, I don't really, I haven't gone into the system of long distance, uh, widowhood racing, but I remember the lad up at Walsall, what's his name, Ron, Ron Breakaway Man, what's his name? Ron Green. Ron Green, Ron Green says to me, Jed, it would be ideal for you. He says, why don't you have a go at it? I said, no, I'm too bloody old. But I said, I'll tell you this. I said, when somebody wins the Poor National with a widowhood cop, I might then have recourse to change my mind. But until then, I'm remaining as I am, the old-fashioned way of raising pigeons. And he said, and I thought he had a point, he says, well, he said, the reason it's not being won with the widowhood cop, Jed, he says, because there's not enough going. But he said, when there's more pigeons on the widow with going, it will be one. And that is exactly what's happened. And if you send 6,000 widow with cocks to the poor national, somebody's got to win it. Yeah. When, when Louis said to me, he said, I'd like to present you with a pigeon, Jed. I said, well, yeah, thank you very much. He said, uh, what do you want? I said, well, one thing I don't want is a bloody continental pigeon. <laughs> 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 you know, and I said, I'll have an English pigeon. I didn't show you it, Keith. It's down there. I've got to show you. But it is a continental pigeon, isn't it? Well, it's, 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 it's called. Yeah. It's, it's called. It comes down from. Yeah. And when you give him a pigeon to handle, the response you get from him is a variety of monosyllabic bloody grunts. Yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah. You, you go home and on and put a bloody pigeon down, that's about what you get. Much the same as when you play a snooker Promise. with him, Jed. Well, that's what you get. Yeah. Isn't it? When he got this pigeon in his hand from Louis Massarel, I thought, well, you're going to say much the same about this, because he has no time. They all say I commercialise in the sport no more than I have. And he, he started to wax bloody lyrically on this. <laughs> the red wine on the table. Yes. Pour it out. What do you think of pigeons in, Joan? She oh, well, suffers them. Right. She's <laughs> oh, you put up with them, do you? No, I not really, no. She's never, ever once has she She's just talking to me. I know, but I'm telling you, you've never, ever once in 34 years of married life cribbed about the pigeons. She's cribbed well, they the were there, there. Well, I yeah. married them, hey? didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell, tell you a little story.